Hey guys, welcome to my video today. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video today. I'm actually gonna talk about a topic over my training on this particular day. Um, so I was doing a little bit of deadlifts and some bench and I thought, you know, why not just combine my clips and talk about a topic that I'm passionate about or that's kind of interesting and uh, see if anyone kind of gels with it or can get um, any type of value from it. So today's topic is actually gonna be on just going to put that in a title form up there so what do I mean by this guys so I was this this topic actually came um, from a conversation I had with a CrossFit coach and this guy's name is John Ross um, in CrossFit 876 in Ipswich and this guy's an absolute legend um, highly rated him as a coach his knowledge is exceptional and me being a powerlifter and some of the preconceptions we have about CrossFit weren't very good, okay? Well, it, uh, mine weren't very good and to the, all the people that I've talked to in all the powerlifting arenas, they don't really have a good view of CrossFit. Long story short, we got talking, I totally respect this guy and he told me that the whole goal of CrossFit really is actually to improve um, aspects of a person's particular sport. And he showed me this pyramid, I'm just gonna put the pyramid right here. So all CrossFit, is actually based on this pyramid of importance. Um, I, don't know, I don't know what the exact word of it is, guys. Um, and as you can see, the top of that pyramid is the sport. And then you've got second, uh, agility or awareness. You've got strength. Um, and then you've got right at the bottom, nutrition. Um, I actually can't remember the other ones in the, the, the other um, elements in there. But the fact is powerlifting is really just all strength. And I wanted to talk about how, you know, the principles of powerlifting do actually have some carryover in other sports in, in a strength sense. And um, we were talking about ollie lifting, me and John, and we, he was basically um, was saying that ollie lifting, um, it's, it requires a very, very long uh, learning curve um, to really master some of those movements that they're doing. Uh, clean and jerk, snatch jerk, um, you know, front squats, all those types of stuff require a lot of awareness and a lot of, um, you could say, building up um, proficiency um, in a way so that they can master those movements. And their training sessions, really it's, it's quite light work with the more um, technique work, but then they also utilize powerlifting type, you can say progressions or, or programs to really strengthen areas that they're, they're lacking in. And maybe that's the initial pull, they might do a powerlifting type program to improve that snatched um, deadlift position or maybe it's um, possibly uh, they, they want to squat more and maybe that's, uh, they use a, a barbell back squat program to improve their front squat or they might utilize you know, back squats or low bar squats to really train their legs. Um, my point really in this video is that every single sport can benefit from some sort of strength training. Um, and certain sports will always utilize specific muscle groups more than others. Um, perfect example is runners okay runners what kind of injuries do these guys get uh, obviously Achilles um, they can get you know tendinopathies in their knees and all that kind of stuff um, so these guys can benefit from a lot of strength and loading in those particular muscles so the calves calf training um, obviously through the quads really strengthening those quads muscles and also the hamstrings and the glutes um, strength training guys can be utilized for really any sport. I do believe that there is um, really a lot to be taken away from strength training in general in a lot of sports. Uh, not only as um, you know, increasing, you could say, the low tolerance of structures, but strength training has been shown to increase uh, performance as well in runners. So um, guys, there's a lot of application, I think, of strength training in general. And I think that um, even though powerlifters um, we are on the higher end of the spectrum when it comes to strength training. It doesn't necessarily mean that strength training can't be used or utilized for other sports. So guys, yeah, this is really the, the end of the video. Um, let me know what you think, if you agree, if you disagree. Um, okay, this is kind of a, an experimental type of video. I might do a, a few of them or, or not, depending on um, if you guys like it or not. But yeah, guys, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.